A group of South Korean lawmakers have left for Japan today in a bid to ease tensions and find a diplomatic solution to the Seoul Tokyo trade spat. Now, during their two day stay, they will meet with members of Japan's rival parties and explain Seoul's stance on the export curbs and Tokyo's push to remove South Korea from its trade whitelist. For more, we connect our political correspondent Kim Minji at the National Assembly. Minji, fill us in. Ji and the South Korean parliamentary delegation left this morning for a two day trip to Japan. Now, before leaving, they said that they plan to urge Japan to lift its export restrictions as well as scrap its push to take Seoul off its white list of countries that face minimal restrictions. Now, before leaving, they also said that they hope to act as a bridge for the governments of the two countries to find a diplomatic solution. Take a listen. Our delegation will meet with lawmakers of both Japan's ruling and opposition parties to discuss our positions on the matter and prevent the situation from taking a turn for the worse. We are planning to deliver the message that we want to cooperate to resolve the issue diplomatically. Now, it's just a two day trip, but they have their plates full with a string of meetings lined up with Japanese lawmakers and parliamentary officials. First up on Wednesday is a working lunch with Fukushiro Nukaga, chief of a parliamentarian's union between the two countries and a lawmaker for Japan's ruling Liberal Democratic Party. Also, another highly anticipated meeting is with Toshihiro Nikai, secretary general of the ruling party, who is also known to be close with President Pr Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Well, Minji, do keep us posted on their trip, but I understand South Korea's National Assembly has also launched a bipartisan consultation group today to deal with Japan's export controls. That's right. Rival parties launched the consultative body this morning, and it's comprised of rival lawmakers as well as government ministers and representatives of the private sector. Now, they held their first meeting earlier this morning, about two hours ago, where they were briefed on the current situation by the finance ministry. And in their opening remarks, the participants said that the body will be aimed at fostering a national response to counter Japan's economic retaliation. They said the first and foremost is to minimize the fallout on local companies, and they vowed to come up with both long-term and short-term plans to boost the competitiveness of South Korea's parts and materials industries, as well as push for localization. That's all for now. Back to you.